I'm Nuri Golan, I'm the CEO and co-founder of Exo Technologies, and we are a software startup out of Tel Aviv, and our mission is to provide centimeter level accuracy to every GPS receiver in the world. So if you look at emerging technologies like autonomous vehicles and drone delivery systems, they have a high dependency on centimeter level positioning. Uh, and there are solutions on the market today that can actually give you centimeter level positioning. However, they all come with extreme limitations in their performance. So GPS performance is generally evaluated by three criteria. And my presentation isn't up, so I guess I'll just wing it. Uh, it's generally evaluated by three criteria. The first is your uh, dependency on physical infrastructure or base stations. The second is your ability to achieve high accuracy. And the third is your acquisition time, or the time that it takes you to get down to that centimeter level position. And the solutions on the market today, at best, can help you with two out of those three. So they can give you a centimeter level position, but you're going to be tethered to a base station, which means that as you distance yourself from that base station, your accuracy will degrade. Or you don't need the base station. You can still get that centimeter level fix, but your acquisition time could be as, as high as 20 minutes. So for any real-time application, this obviously isn't a feasible solution. Uh, so we've taken a completely different approach. Uh, we can do all three. So that's instant accuracy everywhere. And that's the fundamental concept behind every line of code we write. Three years ago, our CTO, who has an extensive background in GPS and is an expert in orbital mechanics, took a look at the industry and realized that people were tackling this problem backwards. They were focusing on errors on the receiver. They were focusing on errors at the receiver level or at the front end error sources of GPS. So we've taken a different and more efficient approach, which is to look at the fundamental error sources of GPS, and that's the actual satellite orbit error and the runoff from the atomic clocks on board those satellites, which are both very important pieces of this puzzle. We bundle those together, and we model them, and we can provide models that are up to 100 times more accurate than what the current GPS system can provide. Uh, we do that, and we put it together into a correction message which can be delivered through an industry standard format to every receiver over a cloud platform. Now this is exactly the type of solution that the autonomous vehicle market is looking for. Not just because of the technical advan te techno the t advantage in the technology, but because it also has a more, far more important uh, benefit, which is the economic benefit. So recent surveys have shown consumers are going to be willing to pay about a five to $10,000 markup for autonomous features in the near future. That means that the car manufacturers need to produce these at about two to $5,000. And if you look at some of the test vehicles that are out on the road today driving in San Francisco or in Texas, they're nowhere close to this number. And those systems incorporate a lot more than just GPS. They incorporate LIDARs, radars, cameras, like we heard a little bit about earlier today. Uh, GPS is just one piece of that puzzle, albeit a very important one. Uh, just as an example, the inertial measurement, unit, inertial measurement unit on board these vehicles can cost tens to hundreds of thousands of dollars. And most of these sensors are compensating for a lack of good positioning. So if you can incorporate a centimeter level positioning solution into these systems, you can drastically reduce your hardware costs by using less sophisticated sensors. On top of that, you can also drastically reduce your processing power required, which is now becoming a huge limitation because the car manufacturer is becoming more and more conscious of fuel and energy efficiencies on these cars. Uh, so this obviously sounds very uh, impressive, and uh, I'm sure you're wondering if it's working. And so we have done some preliminary testing in the past few months. We took a $10 off-the-shelf U-Blocks receiver, which generally gives you about two meters of accuracy. We pushed our data, and we achieved 10 centimeters of accuracy in our first, in our first controlled experiments. That's a $10 chip with 10 centimeters of accuracy. So we're obviously very excited about this as a company. Uh, we still have a lot of, of, a lot of work to do and a lot of testing to do on the automation and globalization of our product, uh, but the proof is there. And I just want to leave you guys with this. If you think about the, the world in the next few years, uh, autonomous vehicles and drone delivery systems, they're coming and they're coming fast. We're going to see them around uh, more and more in the near future, and we're hoping to be a big part of that. Thank you.